if you understand how to budget, you can save a lot of money. If you have the wrong budget, you can like limit yourself a lot and not make a lot of money, not save enough money, not invest a lot of money. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly the basics of budgeting and two budgets that I really love to use. And guys, on top of that, I want to tell you guys a story, right? I went from making 60 bucks a week to around $10,000 a month because of one of these budgets right here. So the concept is, if you have a budget, you can make a lot of money. And you might think, Tommy, I don't need a budget, but in reality, you probably already have one, and it's the one you're using right now, which basically, I just have money, I spend the money, and I don't know where the money went. But in this video, I'm gonna give you guys the basics to create your own budget, or use one of mine, and that way you can get started and actually, like, you know, taking control over your finances. Now, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tanya Bryson, I'm an accountant, I upload videos on YouTube every single day. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified, and top of the favorite and smash the like button and here's a question for you guys okay how much money do you want to save in the next six months so six months on the line how much money do you want to have saved so comment down below and comment the date of today when you're watching this video and comment down below the date six months later and how much money you want to have saved and for what okay that's the most important thing when it comes to saving money what do you want the money for you know why do you actually want the money for so it's the what and the why comment down below and let me know now let's jump into the video and talk about the basics of budgeting but before we do that we have to understand exactly what a budget actually is right that's the most important thing here and basically a budget is a tool that allows you to track your money the money coming in the money going out Income expenses. Now, if you understand what money's coming in, how money's going out, you can start to tweak things here and there to save more money, spend more money, or pay off your debts, pay off your car faster, pay off your mortgage faster. Whatever you want to do, you can do it as long as you have a budget to show you exactly where the money's coming from, where the money's going, and where you want it not to go, and where you actually want it to go from now on. Okay. Now, before you say, Tommy, I don't have a budget because I don't want to limit myself. The concept is that when you create a budget guys you set your own budget with your own rules whether one of those rules is basically I want to go clubbing every Tuesday because I deserve it you can do that in your budget if you want to I want to go shopping I want to go on vacation I want to do this I want to do that you know the budget is based on what you want to achieve so a budget doesn't limit you it allows you to do those things you want to do by tracking your income and also your expenses so again budgets help you they don't hurt you they don't limit you because you create them yourself. So now that we understand, guys, exactly what a budget is and basically how it works, income coming in, um, expenses going out, all that fancy stuff, I want to go into detail about two types of budgets that exist, okay? Now, you can comment down below and tell me you disagree or you don't agree, but in reality, you have two types of budgets. One budget that does, like, one thing, whether it's pay off debts, save more money, invest more money, just for one thing. And you have budgets out there that actually allow you to do multiple things or maybe like everything at once, okay? Now, the first budget that does one thing that I wanna break down in this video is basically called the 52 week challenge or rule budget. I love this budget. Now here's why guys, this budget allows you to save a specific amount of money in one year in a very fun, and simple way okay now the concept is that you have a standard way of doing it and also the custom way of doing it okay because you can customize the budget however you want to customize it always now the standard way is that with the 52 week rule budget challenge you can actually grab the first week and pay yourself one dollar the second week three dollars third week three dollars and then four five six seven eight nine ten until you get to 52 and by the end of the year you should have around one thousand three hundred and seventy eight dollars just like that you might say tommy that's not enough money that's not a lot of money but in reality that's probably a lot more money than you probably have right now because when i had you know sixty dollars a week coming in and then at the end of the year, I had like around 2000 I was like, you know what? This is awesome because although it's not like a million dollars, like $10,000, is still some money and probably more money than you ever had before, okay? So saving money in small amounts, $1, 2 3 4 5 until the year is over, that's still pretty good, still pretty solid if you ask me. Now, you can do that if you want to, the standard way, or you can do the custom way and go from $1,000, $5,000, to ten thousand dollars now tell me how do i do this okay i just don't know how much to save every single week to actually get to ten thousand or five thousand or one thousand well the answer is you don't have to figure it out because i found some little pictures and stuff that should show you exactly how to do it you can either print this out 
or just like do like a screenshot every time you get paid and just like cross it off right there so here it is guys here are the sheets right here on the screen right now one for one thousand one for five thousand and one for ten thousand so for example whenever you get paid you can grab one of these sheets right here whether it's one thousand five thousand or ten thousand you can grab one of these sheets and when you get paid for example say i got paid 500 bucks okay and i see on my sheet for 1000 i'd be like okay so i want to save 1000 bucks so i'm going to grab you know six dollars for example i'm going to cross that off i'm going to take that six dollars and put it in my savings accounts or put it in a piggy bank i'm going to tell you exactly where to put it and where's the best place to put it later on in the video okay now once you're doing that, you do it every single week or every time you get paid. That way you're always crossing off. And by the end of the year, you'll have 1,000, 5,000, or 10,000, depending on your goals. However, guys, as you guys can see on the screen right now, to get to 1,000 is very easy. Five bucks one week, $10, 25, 35, not that bad. But to get to $10,000, for example, the highest I seen on this piece of paper right here that I made myself is around like $400. You know, I'm 150, 75 one week. So it is a lot more money, but it's a lot more fun to go ahead and just like cross off like numbers. And that way you put that money aside. And you probably ask me, Tommy, okay, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. Where do I get this? Well, you can screenshot it right now or you can check the links down below. I included them in a Google Drive sheet. Just like download them directly from there and boom, you have it for free. I'm not gonna charge you for this stuff, okay? Now, the girl or the lady that she made this is called, her name is actually called um, Cara Palmer, but I made a 10K custom for me, but her name is Cara Palmer. So good job, Cara, on this entire like um, chic thing. I really like it. Now, if you're wondering, Tommy, okay, this is awesome, but where do I actually put the money, okay? Well, what I did was this, guys. When I was saving money for the first um, year or so, I was saving between like 40 to 60 bucks every single week, every time I got paid, okay? By the way, remember, I was getting paid around $60 a week for that first year, so I was literally saving a lot of my money, okay? So, by the way, I started saving with around like $6 a week, and then step by step, I kept improving, raising my income, and that's how I got to a little bit over $2,000 in one year, okay? But it was step by step step it was not overnight guys okay so by the end of the year I had around 2080 so around 2080 bucks so on average every single week I would save around $40 not that bad not that high but for a guy that was like you know like only making around six dollars for the first few weeks well that's a lot of money to me okay so two thousand dollars by the end of the year is pretty awesome i put it in a piggy bank i couldn't open it i didn't know how much money i had in there so i just like left it there and i didn't even like look at it whatsoever okay now if you want to be super advanced and you want interest on it i recommend getting a uh, savings accounts that does not allow you to take the money out or if it does it'll take way too long to take the money out that way you'll be like okay you know if I take the money out, it'll take three years to get to my account, so I won't even need it by then. So just leave the money in there and then boom, boom, boom. Okay. So what I like to use for saving money is actually a savings account called Wallfront. With Wallfront, you save your money, you get around like 1.90% on APY, which is not that bad, but you put the money in there. It takes three days to get there and three days to come back. So that way you're not tempted to take money out and then use it for clubbing or vacations. No, that money stays in there because you want to save a specific amount of money by the end of the year. Now, we understand the standard budgets that do one thing, but tell me, what about the budgets that do multiple things? Well, that's what I actually use on a daily basis. Now, this budget is called the Simple Budget. I created it myself by doing a ton of research into over like around 50 books, okay? I got every single bit and piece that I loved and I was like, okay, let me create something that makes a perfect amount of sense and allows me the ability to do everything I need to do. So here it is, guys. The Simple Budget, I have a whole video on it if you wanna check it out, link down below. But the basics is basically, well, you grab your money and you wanna give every single dollar a job. That's it. Very simple, okay? Now, you have six accounts when it comes to this budget, not just one. And guys, it sounds complicated, I know, but in reality, it's very simple. These six accounts are emergencies, um, investments, debt, expenses, fun, and charity. So, for example, whenever you get paid, you want to put your money aside into these six accounts, and that way, every single dollar has a job, okay? Emergencies is for saving money for an emergency, okay? Investments is to make you more money, Debt is to repay your credit card debt, your loan, 
your mortgage, um, your student loans. You want to repay that stuff as fast as possible. And then expenses is for your, you know, electricity bill, your car, all that stuff that's kind of like an expense, gas. And then when it comes to fun, you can actually have fun, go out, party, vacation, whatever it is. And then charity, you give money to charity. Now, if you want to know all the details, percentages, what to do, the sheets, the Excel forms, well, I have a link down below to the full video. Check that out if you want to. Now, you're probably wondering, Tommy, but what if, well, well, Tommy, how am I going to get six different bank accounts? Well, you can do envelopes if you want to, six different envelopes, but if you want an account that does all this stuff, I recommend getting SoFi. Now, with SoFi Money, it's an online bank, and I have a link down below. When you sign up, you get 50 bucks, which is awesome. Now, the concept of SoFi Money is that you can have this bank account and create vault accounts, basically allowing you to create multiple accounts, and that way, you don't need six banks accounts, okay? So, for example, when you go into the account, you can go into vaults, you click vaults, and you can create whatever account you want to create in two clicks, okay? So, you click, for example, new vault, and you can create a new account for emergency funds for travel kids house or a custom one if you want to that way you can actually save money without having to worry about like hey I don't have envelopes or hey I don't want to have six different accounts okay you can do everything in this one account plus you also get interest plus you get 50 bucks when you sign up with my link link down below any questions though guys just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson I'll answer your DM and like let me know what you need help with and I'm here for you okay now lastly guys before we go and we're out of time here I want to say something that's the core foundation of budget if you don't know what this is well it's the most important thing ever because if you don't have this your budget will fall apart I guarantee it and it's because something that I've been working on for a very long time okay and it's called CPG C stands for commit if you want to create a budget you have to commit to it and you get commitment through consistency if you commit to it you're consistent you do it every single week then you're good to go and step by step you're going to get there and which is the goal you know you want to get there step by step it's not overnight it's going to take work but you're gonna get there and that's the most amazing thing okay now P stands for purpose you need a purpose you need a why to why you want this money it can't just be oh I want to go vacation then what happens after that it can't just be like, oh, I want to have um, a lot of money here. Well, it just can't be that, okay? You want to you go deep, you know? You want to go into the why, to why you really want this money. And when it comes to me, it comes to I want to have more control over my life. That way I can do what I want to do, when I want to do it. And that's the core foundation of why I budget and why I save money. You got to find out why you actually want to save money. That's the P, the purpose. Now, the last letter here is G. G is the goal. You want to make sure your goals have two things, obtainable and that they also have a deadline. Now, you don't want to be too realistic with your, you know, like goals, because if you do too realistic stuff, then in reality, you'll reach it. Yes, but you won't really go beyond what you can actually do. So don't be too realistic. Just be like, you know, 20% more than you think you can do and you'll be good to go. Okay. That's what I recommend. And guys, that is it. When it comes to the basics of budgeting, comment down below and let me know if it makes sense or not. And also comment down below and let me know what is your cpg okay comment down below let me know and guys if you want me to make a video on basically you know how to create a budget on excel with templates that i'll create and give to you comment down below let me know and i'll get to work and as always guys, if you guys enjoyed the video like the video really appreciate it subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you get notified and if you want to talk to me one-on-one uno uno just dm me on instagram at Bryson. and on top of that if you want to watch a video for example on a simple budget and how it works the full video Click this video right here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel right now, subscribe to the channel right here. Click my face. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and peace.